So, let's get to it. Um, Crater Clash, you guys know, a lot of my friends were fighting, obviously. A lot of friends of the show, a lot of people that you are familiar with, they were fighting. But, uh, you know, there was one major reason why I was there, of course. Uh, if you don't know, uh, I'm sure you'll, you'll find out. But it was, it was to watch uh, my boy, okay, this young man who I have uh, watched basically blossom into this uh, incredibly confident, incredibly well-trained murderer. I am, of course, talking about Ali Mythological Kabani, okay, uh, Dearborn's uh, finest, okay. I mean, this dude, holy shit, he popped the fuck off. You guys probably watched him in Creator Clash where he ran the distance. He went the distance with a very capable opponent, as a matter of fact, surprisingly capable opponent, um, but... But uh, here he is going up against Hundar. Now, I'm going to give you guys some background, okay? Because we have the same trainers. Uh, we have the same, you know, uh, 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 physical trainers. Uh, he also has, on top of that, like, obviously a, a boxing coach too. And uh, so I'm, you know, I'm, I'm familiar. Like, I'm, I'm keeping up. I've been keeping up for the past couple months on his uh, on his workouts, we train together from time to time. Like I see him while I'm training from time to time. Hundar is a much larger opponent. Uh, Hundar usually walks around, I believe, uh, at, at about 200 pounds. Myth, on the other hand, the top weight he's ever reached in his life was like 195. And of course, he is not 195 when he's in fighting shape. So for them to to get down to the same weight to fight, Hundar had to lose a lot of weight. Myth had to also lose some weight too, but like, you know, he his he is now only developing muscle mass. So the advantages that he had, oh, thank you, Thamasius, for the playlist. Um, the advantages that Myth had was that uh, I think his cardio is going to be better. He's a very technical fighter. He's very good for how uh, new he is. Uh, and he's also a lot younger. Hundar is uh, around 30 plus. Uh, I, I forget how old Hundar is, but like that... Age definitely is a major component, okay, in this circumstance. Uh, he's almost 40. That's crazy. I didn't even know that. I mean, he is incredible. He's in incredible shape for being 39 years old. But I was still terrified, especially after what I saw Hundar do to AB. Okay? But Myth, on the other hand, outboxed him. Look at him. Look at look at his fucking look. Look at how he's dodging him. Look, even here. Right on the button. Miss said right before this, they were like talking and Hundar was saying it's actually a lot of fun fighting you. And it, that's why he was smiling right before he got fucking clapped. Now that, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the art or sport of boxing, that right there is, is the button, okay? Everybody's got a spot on their fucking face, which Myth actually perfectly found in this punch. He explores with the left. A little bit, and then right on the button. Look at that, and it's perfect too. He puts his entire he puts his entire body weight into it. Perfect form coming down as well, and just absolutely destroys him. My man said, Myth has no power. Ha, ha, ha. Look at these punches. They look so soft. Dude, you should definitely, um, you know, you should, you should go up against him.
anyway, um, like I said, he is uh, he's a very technical fighter. He's a very he's a very technical fighter. He has learned he's learned how to fight so well. He fights incredibly well. Hundar ended up popping his bicep to that fall. Yeah, I saw. Respectfully, I'd body slam him. Okay. Anyway. How many times have you been asked to go up against someone next time? Every 10 minutes, I would guess. Yes. Literally everyone is constantly asking me. I've... I... Don't know how many times I said, no, I'm not going to fight this past weekend. I don't know. Like thousands. But yeah, look, ultimately, ultimately, if it, if it wasn't for his bicep that he fell on, as you can see, when he goes limp and he just falls directly on his bicep, uh, which ruptures. Okay, he had a bicep tear in that fight. If it wasn't for that, uh, he probably maybe could have kept going, okay? But that doesn't take away from the fact that he ate a clean one, dude. Just a perfect, just the absolute perfect, clean one. No talking about your friends or things close to you, okay? Only OP and Agiprop, please. Yeah. Um, but uh, overall, this was uh, a very emotional moment for me watching him. Um, uh, Hundar's bicep uh, is, is uh, uh, you know, donezo. Where is the photo? Here it is. Well, I hurt my arm. They say I couldn't keep fighting because the bicep popped. <laughs> oh no, everybody. <laughs> Having a bad time. Yeah, he had to walk around in a sling. The funniest thing is, uh, Hundar is such a nice dude. I mean, he is such a fucking kind, such a nice guy. It's just so funny because he literally looks like like a demon. He looks like just legitimately like a terrifying person. He looks like the type of dude. He looks like the type of dude who would be called Hundar. Even if you didn't know his name was Hundar, you would think he's Hundar. By the way, um, speaking of which, careful, he's vegan as well. Uh, from what I understand, so is dad. Both of the old guys in that fucking ring that were, well, uh, dad's not vegan, I think vegetarian. But um, both of the old guys in the ring that looked the best out of pretty much everyone else we're both uh, vegetarian for a very long time. So they're, that's why they're fucking, they're in remarkable shape. Um, but yeah, he's, uh, he's a super sweet guy, which is pretty funny to consider because his like entire persona on, uh, you know, on, on stage is like this, this, you know, barbarian, this barbarian warrior, which I find really funny. Um, anyway, unfortunately, Jarvis lost, uh, I think his asthma kicked in. But yeah, I was fucking losing my mind. People caught me in the crowd uh, absolutely going bananas mode. I was losing my mind. I was with the I was with Mitsa mom and uh, and dad. Um That dude had a classic exam finding of Popeye's arm because the distal tendon tore completely causing the bicep muscle to curl up and look like Popeye's arm after he eats spinach. It's pathogonomic for biceps tear. What is this?
I was crying. <laughs> anyway. But yeah. It was a pretty bad tear. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Should have seen Markiplier. Uh, I did see him. Uh, I I did I did see him, uh, but I never I didn't like really. I don't know him, so I didn't want to fucking go up to him and be like, "Hey, what's up, man?" You know, because I know what it's like when motherfuckers keep rolling up to you at an event like that. Uh, Aaron, aka Ego Raptor, looks so good this year. Yeah, he he looked a lot better this year than he did last year for sure. Hassan, you're too humble. I think you're known enough to give a quick intro. It doesn't matter. It's 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 weird to be like, hey, what's up? Uh, I'm a famous guy. You're a famous guy. You know, let's meet. I don't know. I just, I feel like in a situation like that, if someone wants to come up to you, so many content creators came up to me, uh, uh, you know, plenty who are way more famous than I am. Uh, who have been in the game for way longer than I have been. They came up, and uh, I, the way I see it is like, if you if you want to do that, you do it. If you don't want to do it, then, you know, I just kind of leave you alone. You're parasocial phobic? I, I, I've not watched enough of his videos to be parasocial. I haven't watched zero. I don't, I don't watch gaming uh, viewers. Uh, I mean, I don't watch gaming uh, stuff did Harley almost fall on you? I have a funny story about Harley. I love Harley, um, and uh, I I have a I have a really funny story about him. So Harley is like six six. He's he's taller than me even, and he's a very big dude. He's a brolic dude. He's fighting against this guy who is you know fighting against the dude on sauce is like one thing. He's fighting against the dude who's been professionally punched and been in an arena for, like, longer than I've been alive, okay? Like, that guy, all of the things that, all of the factors that come into consideration in a situation that would, like, be a disadvantage for you, a normal person getting into an arena, stepping up into an arena, and your heart pumping, he doesn't have any of that, right? He's been doing that for... A, he has been doing that for a very long time. Not only that, but also, uh, you know, he's been getting punched professionally for a very long time. You know what I mean? Like, so, John Morrison also blew a dog whistle to incapacitate a dog wrestler and then crushed it from the sky. Like, this is the guy he's fighting against, right? It's okay, Russ. Eat sheep. So, you know, he is, uh, he's in remarkable shape. His opponent was in remarkable shape, has incredible control. Pro wrestling is real. Uh, brother, getting hit in the face is definitely a very real component of pro wrestling, which is soap opera or whatever. But yes, you are definitely getting hit a lot, regardless of uh, how fake it is. If you think that you're not actually tanking some serious fucking damage, both to your head, both to your body, on a regular basis for fucking, you know, however many years this guy's been doing it. I don't know what to tell you. Why do you think so many of them get CTE? So, I mean, the guy is awesome. He's, he's fucking fantastic. He was great. And so before this fight happened, with uh, Harley, Harley versus the mayor of Slamtown, which I think is like awesome. It's such a funny fucking name. Before Harley was about to fight him, Harley comes up to me the day of the fight and he's like, dude, I got to tell you one more time. Like, I know we've had this conversation before, but you really should get into fighting. 
You would love it. I really didn't want to do it. And then I got into it and look at me now. Okay. Why am I telling you this story? Because Harley gets into the ring. He has an incredible fucking opening performance. He's actually doing a pretty good job at first. He's like kind of controlling the speed of the fight a little bit. Okay. And then, you know, his opponent, John Morrison, mayor of Slamtown, opens up and starts just absolutely eviscerating him. I mean, he's just fucking bouncing him, right? He was punching him like he was, he was doing the speed bag at, at a certain point. It felt crazy. And, and obviously what ended up happening was something that I've never seen before. He fucking clapped him so hard. Harley, this six foot six monster fell out of the ring. He knocked him out of the ring. Does anyone have the video of this? I need you to see it, to believe it. It is hard to comprehend. It is hard to understand. I think there, this is a VOD of the fight. So maybe you'll, you'll see it right here. Oh, here it is. Here. Look. And again, you see that right hand. He falls into us. Here. Look at this. Why weren't you there to save us? <laughs> and again, you see that right hand. He falls into us. Here. He knocks him out of the arena. <laughs> Thank God that Harley's okay, though. That, that could have really been bad. And yeah, Harley's a legend. I mean, he falls into the fucking... That's a big man. He looks up. And what he told me was, he's like, what he told me about this was like, he's like, listen, when I'm in the ring, I never see faces, right? I got fucking knocked out, out of the arena. He came up to me after the fight, okay? He came up, <laughs> came up to me after the fight that night. He was like, dude, I stood up from the table and the first face I saw was yours going like this. And at that moment, I real he's like, at that moment, I realized, oh my God, I told him earlier to definitely fight. <laughs> and he just watched me fucking fly onto the judge judge's table. Because that was what I was thinking in that moment. We locked eyes and I was like, this motherfucker is getting fucking hammer fisted out of the fucking ring. And he was trying to get me to go fight. I'm definitely not fighting. There is no shot. Look at us there. We're trying, we're trying to help him out. Charlie, dive at anybody. I don't want to hear it. You look like this? No, literally. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, he's like, dude, you don't know what you're missing. You don't know what you're missing. It's like, no, I'm good, man. I'm good with that. I'm good with missing on all of that, to be honest. Like, straight up. Your POV. Yeah, I mean, he was the crowd favorite, but he was getting slapped around a lot. Dude, he was so... He was so cool, calm, and collected. It was crazy. Incredible cardio. He knows exactly what's going on. I mean, he kept he kept pushing him into like, yeah, I mean, he made him, he dropped him a bunch of times, including onto the judge's table. Anyway, the quality of the creator clash goes up. I do worry about the safety of the fighters because they're getting better. Uh, anyway, um, did you meet any of the wrestlers there? No, I did not. But yeah, here are some photos. Of me going crazy mowing. His mom. What's your favorite part of the night besides myth winning? I don't know. That's it. 
in my in my world, it just like completely overshadowed everything else. But uh, that's it. That's that's what I got. What happened? All the fucking videos are closed. Um, Andrea and and uh, the the uh, was it Michelle Michelle Carey? That fight was probably was probably one of the most. Te- I mean, it was it was the most technical fight. It was literally like Myth and Hundar are great too, but you know they didn't. They unfortunately couldn't go to distance. Whereas the Andrea Botas fight was insane, especially because it blew my mind how well Andrea kept up with her, despite the fact that like. She apparently was, like, training for much longer than I guess she said she was. And, um, it was, it was crazy. I heard Michelle had more training than she let on. Yeah, I mean, but the fact that, like, Andrea is able to keep up with that is wild. Like, Andrea could have won that. Andrea literally, like, it's not like, uh, it's not like Michelle was, like, overpowering her a lot. Um, and, and, uh, you know, she's, she's great. Uh, Michelle's great too. Um, uh, Jay LaRay, uh, you didn't come up to me, uh, for me to sign your hat. I don't know why. I don't know what happened there. Um, you know, we gotta, we gotta figure that out. I don't know why you said that you wanted me to sign your hat and then you just, you know, you you vanished. What happened there? Did you get worried? Same reason you didn't talk about Markiplier. That's different. If I, if I had Markiplier merch or if I was, first of all, if you're one of the fighters, it doesn't matter. You, you, you get to talk to everybody. That's just how it works. Okay. Um, I was too nervous to get my hat signed by you. What the fuck? That's crazy. Um, it, it it doesn't work that way. When you're a fighter, it's just like you you do whatever you want to do. But it between me and Markiplier, it just like doesn't work that way. The Elizabeth post was drama bait for months ago. Andrea knew what she was getting into going into the ring. They had spoken about it. Yeah, no, I I think like. I think it was, um, you know, I, 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 th- I think it's a testament to how good Andrea is. That, like, she was able to fucking keep up with someone who had trained for longer than she had. Thoughts on Idubs losing? I mean, it's unfortunate, but Alex Wasabi is really, really good boxer. Like, I would say Alex Wasabi is better than Dr. Mike, even. So... I don't even know who Andrea could fight. Like, if it wasn't someone like Michelle, who the fuck could she fight? I don't even know. You know what I mean? Because, like, she's so good. This photo is amazing. Oh. Yeah, Austin was taking advantage of that, I guess. Um, how does Sabrina do? I mean, uh, she got destroyed by Jay LaRae. I think if I kept training the same, I we could have a good fight. To be honest, also we're in the same weight class. Sabrina was was uh, fucking destroyed. Like, let's be real. I mean, she went the distance, which is of course crazy. Um, you know that that is really ballsy. That's really brave. Um, she did a phenomenal job. But uh, Jay Cook, Derp. another person who absolutely overpowered their opponent was Alana. Um, Alana was insane. I mean, I knew, I knew. When I saw photos of her progress, I was like, holy shit, she is a fucking demon. And it, uh, Alana's fight basically was like, like a bop em, sock em. Is that the right term for it? Like, it, it just felt like she was just walking and punching non-stop. Non-fucking-stop. 
Alana had bad form, but she was a wall. Alana was literally, like, she was, I don't know how to describe it. Like, she just looked like a, she just looked like an immovable object and an unstoppable force at the same time. Alana had an asthma attack mid-round as well. Yeah, it was, she looked like, bro, she looked like she was training. She went, she flew back to fucking Australia to train with kangaroos, okay? And then came back to fight. It was wild. You had two of the boxers, Alana and Sabrina on Chavez at the same time. Oh, I did. Yeah. That's true. Well, was there an ad telling us where to jerk to our favorite streamers, uh, fighters, lol? No, there wasn't. Uh, uh, this was also sponsored by Fansly, but uh, this event was also sponsored by Fansly, but no, there wasn't a... Hey, jerk off to your favorite content creators thing. It was very frustrating because Michelle misled Andrea. No, I don't I don't think she did. I think that's an older video or something. It might have been in, like drama bait. Um anyway. Y'all are like, can you can you dude, it's it's wild that like some people can't actually just watch content and appreciate it. And just basically go, man, this was great. What a wonderful thing that we watched. They have to take it to the next level where they're like, I know the content that we watched is fine, but I actually want like additional sauce on it. You know, I want, I want to just like lather it with sauce. I need more. It's not enough that we actually watch this stuff and we saw friends uh, who have been training for months and months to, to basically give us this like awesome experience for a good cause, for charity. I need some fucking sauce on it. Like, I got to make sure that there is some additional component of drama. Like, calm down. It's okay. Um, like, not everything has to become something uh, larger for you. Just for your uh, level of entertainment. We're proud of Jack as well. Yeah, I mean, Jack was going... Uh, I mean, I was watching this in the bus over there and I was so fucking terrified I thought he was dying um, but apparently he just like bleeds real easy you know god the pictures from last night I really took blood for the blood god literally man haha -ha. yeah he said he, he bleeds real easy have you never met a sports fan uh, we're all cope all the time. That's what sports all really is. Yeah, it's true. Michelle used the fear ant clip in the promo video. Okay. You guys know Michelle? Oh, oh, she's Mars. dangerous. She's, yeah, she's dangerous. And she's a oh, professional she's cyclist. Oh, dude. <laughs> she might kill me. If I'm going to win a fight, I need the best people in my corner. His name is Tony Jeffries, and he is a 2008 Olympic bronze medalist. <laughs> I am going to have to transform. Do you know what was sick? Every single boxing coach came up to myth after and congratulated him. Every single boxing coach. Like all of these professional boxers coming up to him and being like, man, you got a fucking mean right. You got such a devastating right. Like it was wild. It was so sick. They all, they all literally, you know, they were like, respect. my entire lifestyle to that of a professional boxer. This means training six days a week in the gym, coming home doing recovery, ice baths, having a professional chef prepare all of my meals to the perfect macro and caloric amounts. It means dealing with the pain when it comes, and it means putting my best foot forward every morning. Michelle trains as hard, if not harder than- I mean, she's a demon, dude. I don't know what to say. She is literally, she is lethal. She's a lethal fucking weapon, okay? I mean, this is like, American ninja challenge person. You know what I mean? This is an American ninja uh, warrior person. Like, you can't... She's, like, worked with uh, the CIA and shit. Like, uh, that's that's her YouTube videos, like, revolve around, um, you know, literally doing this sort of stuff. Anyone that I've ever worked with, if she fights another creator, <laughs> she will win that fight. She will definitely win that fight.
Michelle kept getting a hit in whenever the clinch was getting broken up. Judge didn't call it out for some reason. Yeah, she did do that a lot for sure. But listen, um, ultimately, uh, you know, it was a great fight. It was such a good fight to watch. This was the fight that was supposed to happen, but it never ended up happening. Um, I did a thing versus Fitz. Good guy Fitz versus I did a thing. Anyway. Uh, overall, fun weekend, great. Um, you know, I didn't feel as bad uh, being away from stream for two days. Normally, I would. But the reason why I didn't feel bad, the reason why I didn't feel bad being away from stream was because I actually ended up making a lot of content, a lot of BTS stuff, and I think you guys are going to appreciate it. Uh, you know, Sunday, I, I balled super hard with Charlie in the warehouse, uh, boys. And it was great. <clears throat> uh, my voice messed up from screaming. I was I was going crazy.